I'm still. He needs to break my. He needs to break my fucking record first. <laughs> I am still the the, the most the most decorated, successful yeah. decorated football player decorated, in Nigeria. Yes, yeah. yes, but, yes. But you yes, know, yes. I, I think you know he's um, obviously he's he he got an award that I never got, number eight in the world. Yeah, that is absolutely absolutely amazing. I must say congratulations. I mean, the season you Thank had you. it was fantastic, and and I never got to that stage. And this is a different stage. You've raised the level. You've raised the bar so high. And I must say congratulations. And, and I mean, how do you? F I mean, how do you feel coming number eight in the world? So it was Lionel Messi, Haaland, Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, and then there was a few others. There's few others, and you, we, we, me, JJ, Kanu, <laughs> never got to that stage. You <laughs> got to that stage. Congratulations. How do you feel about that? Thank you. First of all, I have to tell you something, Chris. You know, the man sitting next to you uh, has been a big inspiration for a lot of Nigerians, you know, aspiring football players. Thank you. He's been a household name. You Thank know, you. I have to give him his flowers. <laughs> he's, been, he's been an amazing legend for us, an amazing example <laughs> on and off the pitch. Do you understand? His life, the, his character. You know, I'm not just saying this because I'm, I'm on live <laughs> with you guys and he's here. I used to say this, and every aspiring footballer can say the same thing about the man sitting next to you. Do you understand? And Thank you. Being number eight, for me, I don't think I will get to your stage, the things you've done for football for us, on and off the pitch, the way you inspire a lot of us is, is an amazing, is an amazing uh, feat for us. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to appreciate you from the depth of my heart. We saw what you did. We tried to emulate you. You're, being, you're, you're more than a legend for us. You understand? Coming to the Ballon d'Or, I think um, for me, I just, I just kept on doing my job, just doing what I love to do so much. And then um, because I'm big on God, I'm sorry if I call God every time here on this, on this life. <laughs> it's very religious, and God just, <laughs> And, and God, God, just, God just crowned my from my effort but for me it's uh, it's really a huge one you know considering where where i come from considering the the struggles that i've been through and everything i went through i think for me it's uh, to be number eight among the best um, football players right now in the world it's it's a unique milestone for me for my family for the ones that believed in me and uh, for the ones that also doubted me it's an eye opener for them not to not to talk down on any player that is going through so much just like um the legend said you don't know what football players are going through you don't know you don't know you just say the, the lifestyle outside but a lot of them are fighting sorry to use the word depression a lot of them are fighting internal battles that no one know about you understand so for me to come out on top to be the 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 highest goal scorer in syria in a league where people wrote me up when i first signed there you know when i had some series of problem with covid with injuries and all to come out in this type of season, winning the Scudetto in three years. And uh, for me, it's a, it's a huge one. It's a big one. Even if I don't get a trophy, I think for me, this stays in my heart forever because um, to be able to come out from the kind of difficulty that I went through and put myself in World Football Map with the help of a lot, a lot of people, a lot of coaches that I've played under, for me, it's, a, it's really a huge, it's a huge uh, achievement for me. And this we. Really, we continue to live with me. And also this is a motivation also for me to, to stay in that level. And this, this comes in with the kind of career the king has, you understand? He's been there and he's still there until he hung his boots. So for me, this is the kind of level I want to be. You know, it's easy to arrive there. It's hard for you to stay yeah, there. So yeah, yeah, this is yeah. the kind of mentality I want to yeah, yeah. have. Just like what he has done, you know, is a, is a, is a huge motivation for, for a lot of us. So, this is what I want to do, and this is my this is my target to be there. I'm there now, so I want to keep building on this momentum and, and stay there forever until I, until I retire. 